Okay, yo, 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 this is Ivan Future End, the new 52 Future End 26 is here, and I'm really glad to read it. I never expected this kind of story. So, Brian Azarlo, Jeff Lemar, Dan Jurgens, and Keith Giffen return with another chapter of Future End. It took a while for the series to come into its own, but as the story has progressed, so has the storytelling. The newest issue aims to hit the, this points clearly on the head as it covers five different groups of characters all while telling one cohesive story utilizing dialogue that feels mostly natural and a much needed pay talk from the one and only dark knight yeah the cover is cover is saying everything about this story what it's gonna be it's gonna be bruce wayne and it's gonna be dark knight so this series had a rough start but for the last few weeks its quality has started to climb as story elements and characters have finally started to click onto place. This issue features a variety of characters including Bruce Wayne and Mr. Terrific Plastic and Terry McGuinness, Grifter and 50 Sue and Jason Rush and Ronnie Raymond and lots of fans and lots of characters. So while this is a lot for any comic to cover, this issue handles these elements well as there is enough connective tissue to keep it all from falling apart as we are now beginning to see how all of those elements play an impact on the future nothing seems wasted anymore this is especially true of the ending that finally addresses one of the initial sticking points of the series namely that involving the pretty relationship at the core of the nuclear man one issue that remains or instances of dialogue that still feels manfa manufactured and insincere but this is thankful thankfully becoming much less of an issue so this is the things of the IGN they had said. So Brian as well, Jeff Lemmer, Dan Jurgens and Kelly Briffman return with the chapter of Future Sin. It took a while. This kind of things are said by Mike and the overall rating from the IGN about this, the new future future end. Future Sand 26. Yeah, I have to mention the S. So Future Sand 26 is given as a 7.2 rating. This is a solid, not much of 7.2, but it's good. Future Sand 26 continues the upward trend in quality of the series with storytelling, storylines continuing to fall into places. That's a good thing, or that's a bad thing that the storytelling was not as much good with some earlier issues in my personal way but this is the story that this is the series I have started reading uh, from few issues back and I never expected this kind of story the story has up downs New York City Cole and Key are working for Mr. Terrific now Cole looks like he's got on his Halloween girly eyelashes with glasses on while Key appears to have died and is now in rigor mortis. Bruce and Mr. Terrific chat. Mr. Terrific wants to meet with Bruce, but Bruce isn't available at the moment. This is the things of this story. This is a small thing, so recommended if you simply just want to see Batman. You have been waiting for an incomplete and unsatisfactory discussion of the police of time travel. That's a pretty brutal. Friends making up and breaking apart compels you. So overall, as a build-up issue, from the Batman news, it feels well. We have read so many boring issues that were meant to prepare the story for a later payoff that this one seems almost upward trending despite its lack of out and out action. My own hype about seeing Batman appearance let me down a little. Yeah, that I have to admit. And but on the whole, it's a pretty above average leading up to the action at a little time issue. So BatmanNews.com given it as a score 6 out of 10. Weird Science also they have reviewed it and they said hey bartender for this week's quick recap you will need to know that the person who put Carl, Key and Plastic up to the job of stealing the prototype US Sphere, U Sphere from Mr. Terrific was Bruce Wayne also after Batman Beyond joined that crew to infiltrate Terry Fittick and find out in phone brother I he totally screwed the bad guys over by sounding the security alarms and call and key were caught by security and then immediately offered a job by Mr. Terrific himself that's that is amazing we can't expect this kind of thing explain it our story begins on a tarmac in new york city where bruce wayne has just arrived to supposedly check out uh, mr terrific's Spear. 
and now Mr. Terrific knows that Bruce is the one who had the goons to steal it and I guess he's playing a long game here because the two seem amicable. But Bruce says that before he sees the tech he has to have his lawyers make up a contract due to disclosure and all that so it becomes kind of a fasty Bruce excuses himself by saying he's late for something and Mr. Terrific then has his two nearest employees call and key follow him yeah put a tail on Batman see how that works out for you next we hope over next we hop over to Columbia University so this is the this is the basic story I was just telling about so I have to go beyond that and doing a kind of uh, thing that is a uh, wrapping it up kind of situation for this story so this is the um this is the ending kind of thing feature in 26 didn't exhibit impressive storytelling but it was adequate and pushed things along at an even pace so and one of my biggest grips uh, gripes for this issue was the dialogues awkwardness for example the panels that involved Jason being escorted out had a lot of externalized monologue so that is not needed so thanks for watching this is the credits this is the awesome artists and the creators Hope you have enjoyed, share it and like it. Thank you.